Hey, this is Mark Spooner on Laptop Magazine, and today we're going to be taking a look at Windows 8 running on a laptop. This is a freshly installed version of the developer preview software, and we're running it on a ThinkPad T410S, which has an SSD, and uh, this actually booted in 30 seconds the first time around with Windows 7, and we're going to give it a go right now with Windows 8. Okay, so we were just about at 26 seconds. We're expecting even better performance this time around, so you can see that it's booting up already. Six and yep. So at 50 seconds, we're already up and running. So that's definitely an improvement over uh, the last time around. Okay, so once you're in the Windows 8 tile interface, um, you don't. Obviously, you don't have touch at your disposal, but you're, it's easy to get around if you're using a mouse and keyboard, in this case a pointing stick. So all you have to do is go to the bottom of the screen, you can start dragging this bar across to go across the interface, so that's pretty simple. At any time, you can uh, bring up the so-called charms in Windows 8 by hovering in the bottom left-hand corner. So you'll see settings, devices, share, search, and start. And you can open any application just by clicking on it. So for example, if we wanted to open the browser, just go up here, click on that. And here we are with the, the Chromeless browser in uh, IE 10 within Windows 8. And if you want to bring up the contextual menus, there's a keyboard shortcut for that. You can just do Windows Z. And you can see up here that we have the tabs and the address bar down below. So that's pretty simple. And there's other cool ways that you can use the keyboard too. So let's say you're back on the home screen and you want to start searching for something without even pulling up the search option. You just start typing. So in this case, we had uh, VZ Access Manager. I just typed two letters, and you can see, you know, Windows 8 automatically, you know, goes out and uh, see what's on your system. So it's pretty easy. And if you want to multitask, you can just go, you know, hover over to the left side of the screen. You can see that right there. You can just bring that in, and that's just with uh, with the mouse. And you know, hovering over the left side of the screen isn't the only way that you can multitask in Windows 8 on a, on a laptop with a keyboard. So if you go over here, you can just do the Alt Tab just as you would on a Windows 7 machine. But it's a really nice way to see everything that's on your display at once. And uh, you know, Windows 8 doesn't necessarily distinguish between you know the full screen Metro style apps and uh, you know the full desktop. So it's a really nice way to see everything at once. And it's not as easy to do on a tablet, so there's sort of like score one for the laptop here. And you know, if you're within an app, you can you know pull up other things using keyboard shortcuts. So for example, if you want to see the, the charm menu that we just talked about where you hover on the bottom left of the screen, you can just use the, the Windows key plus C. You know, so that's pretty easy. And we're not sure why it's not S. You can do, but you can do Windows F to bring up the search. So if you go over here, you can see again. If you want to multitask, you can bring applications in, and you can also dock them. So we did that. We just brought that over there, and then you can resize applications too, all using your mouse. So overall, Windows 8 is uh, actually you know, pretty easy to use. We didn't, our, our fears about it not being you know, touch friendly are uh, unfounded because you can do pretty much everything with a mouse and keyboard and it works well on laptops. This is Mark Spoonauer, Laptop Magazine, and this is a, a preview build of Windows 8.